you don't listen to what me go say to Uno right now. Before Uno come down, you go off. Uno going to get robbed. Me say, all of Uno where they are firing right now. I know I send down the Epa barrel, the big box and the big crate. When Uno come at Jamaica, Uno listen to what me going to say before Uno go off. As Uno go and get robbed. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to M Davis Vlogs. I'm so sad guys, I've got robbed. You know, if you haven't watched part one of my vlog, me packing my barrels to send to Jamaica, go and watch part one. This is part two. I'm going to finish packing my barrels in this vlog and then I'm going to show you how my barrels arrived in Jamaica, guys. How I got my barrels when I went to collect the barrels. I'm so sad. I'm so distraught, heartbroken. It's the first time this has happened to me. But I can resonate with this lady's video because I did get robbed. So enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I've got loads of content coming your way from Jamaica to your screens, guys. And don't forget to share your opinion in the comments. Has this happened to anyone before? Please share your opinions because it's the first time this happened to me. Share your stories in the comment section. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Day two of packing my barrels. I'm so, so tired. Extremely tired. But we're going to finish this today because the guy is picking it up today. And then it's going to take four weeks to reach Jamaica. Yes. I don't know if I'm having them deliver this time or if I'm going to go to the wharf myself or my husband. We don't have, we haven't made a decision yet. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let me talk about price. Each barrel costs me £40 just the barrel itself i think to ship i'm gonna make i'm gonna put a note here how much it's gonna cost i'm not sure it's between 60 pounds or 65 pounds to to send it off so you spend 40 pounds in the barrel on the barrel 40 or 45 i don't know though i'll put the correct price here when the guy comes i'll check he's super tired so i'm going to send him total seven barrels but what we're going to do, my husband and myself both going to get our allowance at the airport. And he's going to bring four. I'm going to bring four. And we both get the $500 allowance. Yes, all you need to collect your barrels is TRN, copy of your documentation, the shipment company, documentation about um, um, of your barrels. And, and then, yeah. Uh, you need a few documents to collect them and you don't need anything to ship them just your name and address where the barrels are going once they go to once they in Jamaica and your name but to collect you need your ID um, TRN Let's start doing this anyway I put some mattress protectors here this is really cool. I need these so these I'm just gonna fill it up with small things the order
Bilbao. My husband <coughs> has um, bags to put the stuff in. Hey guys, finished now. I'm just waiting for the guy to come and cook the barrels. And this is gonna go in another barrel. So can you see? Um, this is going in another barrel that he's bringing. Well, these are all the barrels. Just gonna come and press them down. And I had to redo all the liquid, the ketchup and everything. Like so, because I don't want anything to burst. The only thing I didn't get to do is right at the bottom of the barrel all the washing up liquid and the washing softener the cloth and softener that's the only thing i didn't get to redo but hopefully it won't burst who did it make so guys this is my shipment as you can see this is already at the wharf in jamaica and this is what happened the shipment arrived we got the date to go and pick it up my husband was going to pick it up but he was running late he had another meeting on the same day an important business meeting on the same day in kingston so he stopped by there because he went really early we all the way bear in mind we're all the way in saint Anne. He, he stopped by the meeting but he was running late so he called the shipping company and said that he was going to run late he doesn't know if he's going to make the appointment for 10 30 or 11 o'clock i think the appointment was the shipment company said that he couldn't miss the appointment otherwise there would be problems getting him another appointment so what they suggested is that they send somebody from their company to go and do all the paperwork and it's a service that we had to pay for to go and do all the paperwork and all of that the person would be present when they ship in the barrel and stuff like that and what my husband can do is just go and pick it up when they give you the pink paper the pink slip to go and pick up your barrels after they've been stripped after you've paid all the fees yes that's the stage my husband would go and my husband said okay yeah i'm running late i haven't got no choice i'm already down here i'm already in kingston i might as well just do everything in one day he said okay cool the guy the the people sent a person from their company to go and do all the paperwork pay all the fees and and you know supervise the stripping of the barrels so my husband picked up the barrels after everything was already done only the transportation stage he got there with the transportation and got the barrels what happened is when he got home i noticed that the barrels were nicely sealed i was like babe this is unusual i ship to jamaica all the time yes i said there's always things outside they can never pack the barrels the way i pack the barrels i fill my barrels to the brim so once they strip them and check them they always put things in the bag that's why i added spare bags in the barrels but there was nothing this time when i opened this barrel that you can see here on the video that's how the barrel was that's all the things on the top were gone that's how full the barrel was the paint was burst and all the it was inside the barrels these things you can see on the floor guys you saw me packing these barrels there's two videos of me packing these barrels where are my stuff and this wasn't the only barrel that was that was in full there were things missing from all the other barrels and what gave it away i sent three blinds for my house and none of them arrived and i needed those blinds so i knew something went horribly wrong and they stole my stuff my stuff they robbed me literally it's the first time this happened and I won't let it rest till we get somewhere, till we get some sort of compensation. We're going to write letters. The shipping company says it's not them because the person that went to watch them strip in the barrels is a trustworthy person and so on and so forth. And then the wolf said it's not them because they've got cameras everywhere that, you know, people can't take any, cannot take anything from the, the wharf and go out all the workers so i want to know how did it happen where did it happen has anybody experienced this before please enlighten me in this situation because they've taken so much and it's so heartbreaking it won't just me from sending things to jamaica i'll still send things to jamaica because this is the first time that's happened but i will never use this company before i won't say their name here so i'm not bashing them or trashing anybody's work if it's them if anything to if it's they had anything to do with it you know god is faithful i work with god god is faithful 
and you know they'll get what's coming for them so uh i'm just so heartbroken guys so i wanted to share this with you you know be aware be wary be careful you know <laughs> and i will never send anybody to sh- to go and collect anything for me i'll go myself i, I don't even i'm not even gonna get door to door i'll go myself once they strip in the barrels i'll know how my barrels arrived all right thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe i've got more videos coming your way thank you